There are patients who suffer from a mysterious chronic dry cough, potentially longer than six months, that seems to defy all explanation and resist all the usual standard medications. Some of these patients have coughed for not only months, but years, resulting in frustration not only in terms of treatment, but diagnosis. Chronic cough is difficult to treat mainly due to the many different possible triggers. As such, in order to properly diagnose and treat chronic cough, a comprehensive evaluation is mandatory. Numerous tests will be required with the attitude of leaving no stone unturned. Just trying medications is no longer sufficient. Let's go through all the possible causes of chronic cough and potential testing required. Chronic cough due to the lungs include reactive airway disease, infections like whooping cough and pneumonia, some type of lung mass including cancer, as well as inflammatory or autoimmune disorders that may result in lung damage. Workup for pulmonary causes of chronic cough may include not just a chest x-ray, but also bronchoscopy, CT chest scans, and breathing tests like the methacholine channelers test or fractionate expired nitric oxide. The esophagus is the swallowing tube that connects the mouth and throat to the stomach. Reflux and other forms of esophageal dysmotility can cause chronic cough due to voice box irritation from mucus that the esophagus may regurgitate up into the throat. It is important to keep in mind that a patient with chronic cough may not have any symptoms beyond the cough itself. All these symptoms may be absent, heartburn, throat burning, choking, lump and throat sensation, or trouble swallowing. However, if such symptoms are present, it does reinforce the possibility of some type of esophageal disorder. Workup for esophageal causes of chronic cough include upper endoscopy, barium swallow, 24-hour multi-channel impedance testing, manometry, and even spit tests. Sinonasal conditions such as allergies, chronic sinusitis, and vasomotor rhinitis can trigger a persistent chronic cough due to a postnasal drip that irritates the throat. Workup for sinonasal causes of chronic cough include transnasal endoscopy, allergy testing, and a CT sinus scan. Workup also includes a trial of two different nasal sprays, an antihistamine nasal spray, as well as hypertropium nasal spray, to address vasomotor rhinitis for which no good test exists. There are certain drug classes known to commonly cause a chronic cough as a side effect. The biggest culprits are certain blood pressure medications known as ACE inhibitors. Less commonly, another class of blood pressure medications called angiotensin receptor blockers may also cause chronic cough as a side effect. Some patients with chronic cough ultimately find that certain foods trigger a persistent cough. The most common foods that have been found to cause chronic cough are wheat, dairy, and egg. Keep in mind that food sensitivities should not be confused with food allergies, nor should it be confused with foods that may cause reflux. Finally, a patient's chronic cough may be due to nerve damage involving the throat nerve responsible for the cough reflex. Normally, the nerve senses a throat irritant which then triggers a cough reflex. With nerve damage, the nerve may become hyperactive triggering a constant reflexive cough even in the absence of a significant throat irritant. Normal throat activities like breathing or allergic postnasal drip will trigger a cough when normally it would not. Once the cause of chronic cough has been determined, treatment can be initiated with successful resolution of the chronic cough. Keep in mind that it is not unusual in patients with chronic cough going on years that more than one cause may ultimately be found to be present, and as such, multiple different treatments may be required. A full chronic cough workup may require seeing multiple different specialists, including an ENT, gastroenterologist, allergy specialist, pulmonologist, and neurologist.